Good night, panels. I'm Silent Lilac, and welcome back to Baycroft SMP. <laughs> Best of all, I want to tell everybody and whoever's watched, thank you so much for the support on the last couple of episodes. It's awesome to see how much you guys like it. And don't forget to leave that like and subscribe if you're new. And let's get on with the show. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. All right, so we did Batania for a couple of episodes. But today, we're doing something slightly differently. Slightly different. Whoops. <laughs> English. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing a different hat today. It's a fez. Uh, we still have not found a bat to be able to fly. So we're going to do things a little slower and a little... Uh, different. So, we're going to go over there because I was doing a little bit of, I've been, as you can see, I've done a fair bit of clearing out, some changes and stuff, but uh, it's Albertania and everything. But, you know, I was thinking about it and I was starting to come up with a plan for down in here and I thought maybe I'll just go over there and have a look. And there's the best place and I'm going to take you there now. I have got some supplies ready to start marble and dark oak oh and I killed a couple of endermen <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go over there and when I get there I'll bring you back so you can see what I saw by being there so I'll be right back okay now there's our house our temporary house and we were going to I was gonna make it sort of you know on that little edge just here just there um, you know coming out of the water but oh, of course it goes dark Jeez, Louise anyway <laughs> But I came up here to have a look around, and this is what I was greeted with. Look at this. Look at this area. This area is so pretty. And I really, 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 really liked it. So I thought, why not do something different? Can I even get down here? Do something different. And uh, try not to break my neck coming down the stairs. Well, not stairs. They're not really stairs yet, are they? Ha, ha, ha. And build down here because it's amazing. And it's this secluded area. And I'm just going to put down a whole bunch of torches to try and light it up a bit. It's surrounded and... <laughs> Fluffy's online. It's just me and Fluffy today. At the moment, anyway. Um, and it's it's like surrounded and it's got light. Oh, I, I like it. Look at this. And there's, there's mines areas. Mines areas? That's good English lilac. Well done. So that takes me down. I haven't been down there yet, as you can tell. Just sort of light the pathway a little bit. But I'm really liking the feel and the look of it. And, you know, the best places are usually those ones that suddenly you're just like, you know what, this is it. This is it for me. This is where I'm going to be. So I'm going to do a little bit of clearing out. And, oh, some more holes. Uh, a bit of clearing out and, you know, just organizing and planning and we're going to build our house here. Yeah? We're going to be surrounded. You can't really tell from up on high because that goes up and over which is very very cool. It's like it's like a little open air cavern. <laughs> but um, yeah I'm going to come up with a plan. I have an idea already but uh, I want to sort of maybe do a practice and then I'm going to do a build and I'll probably time lapse the build. I think. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. So I guess I'll take you guys with me and we will see what turns up or ends up. Hello Mr. Chook. Hello. Be my food. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll be right back. Well, I'll be back in a bit anyway. We'll see. Okay, so I know that I said that I'd probably come up with a plan, but I sort of didn't. Not yet. I'm kind of thinking a few different ideas, but um, I just wanted to come back and take you through um, the thoughts that I've had. Basically what I'm thinking is having like a multi-layered house. So I'm going to take out this, not take out, <laughs> that sounds wrong. Uh, because keeping in mind that we have, I'm going to put two torches down here. We have this uh, hole, so there's another cave down there. Which, you know, it doesn't really lead anywhere, but for now we'll leave it there. Um, so I'm sort of just thinking a multiple layered sort of house. So just to get some depth and some... 3D-ness to the house, I guess. <laughs> if that's a thing. It is now. Um, just to try and mix it up a little bit and have... Excuse me. <coughs> oh, voice. Golly. So yeah, sort of starting down and around here and making sort of the entrance possibly face 
that way, I'm thinking, over here. And then we just utilize the different levels of the ground in the house. So um, it's going to be made out of marble and dark oak because that's what we have the most of. And hopefully this is going to turn out alright. Um, I'm not much of a builder, so I apologize to any of you who <laughs> are looking at it going, Oh, why did she do that? I'm not a, I'm not that much of a builder. I've been looking at some videos and trying to get inspired and come up with something better than just a plain old 3D house. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Um, so I'm just going to sort of clean up this little area a little bit. Again, continue cleaning it up a little bit because it's not really finished yet. Take out some of this rock, the stone, and, um, oh, what did I do that for? Oh, it didn't make one. Huh. Let's try that again. Is it going to do it? Oh, that's weird. I don't get it. Those things that jump out and try and smush you. Little living dirt <laughs> things. Kendra Knights, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to start laying down some foundation, and I will bring you back when I have some progress. Okay, Petals. We're back. Now, I just wanted to show you this other side of the hill area. There's our village, and spawn is over somewhere there. Green one. It's still rendering in. <laughs> um, but look at this area. It's so cool. So, like, this is, like, the direct... What is that up there? Oh, appetite. More appetite. Okay, so, but what I really want to show you is through here. This is our space. This is our space pedals. Look! Ha! <laughs> well, okay. So we don't have a roof, but you know what? That doesn't matter. Whatever, I don't care. I'll get to that. <laughs> so I thought I'd take you up here so we can have a look at the layout. Let's see. It's really large. <sighs> go big or go home, right? <laughs> but yeah, okay. So we're utilizing the dark oak, as you can see. And the marble, which I love the marble. I haven't... It's raw marble at this stage. I don't think I have... Well, I mean, I haven't really looked at the, the chiseled marble yet, but... Might be something that we can change out. It's pretty easy to change. But I got a couple of little decks here. Well, uh, okay, so they were going to be part of the house, but and I've got some depth. See, got this. <laughs> this is this is a build that is very very different to anything that I've ever built, especially on camera. Um, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not really sure how to make this work, but I'm kind of liking it so far. I don't have any stairs, but we do have carpenters' doors. And the beauty of carpenters' doors is they both open at the same time. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> open plan living. That's what we're going for this time, pedals. And I kind of like it. So we've got, you know, there's no doors or windows or anything. There's just the two doors that comes through to the other little deck here at the back, which gives us a beautiful little open. <laughs> Lilac indoors. There we go. Okay. So I've got, I need to be able to find something to kill that I can fly so that I can light that up in there. I don't like it. It's kind of scary and spooky. But it's a pretty little area. I don't really like this either, but I'll come back to that. So we got a little waterfall over here in our spaces and the dark oak forest is over there. and I like it. I'm really liking the space. And Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I like this sort of this layered... I don't know. What do you call this? Uh... Our bed's here, so I've... Okay, so, okay. Whoops. I have moved some of everything here. Not a lot. But our tinkers, tables and stuff are here. Some of our iron chests. I made up a special tool to bring our test chests over. It's a dolly. So if we just look up... Dolly. It's this one. And so it's just iron ingots and a block of wood. It's really that simple. You could do a whole stack of them. The moment you pick up a chest with your dolly, you get debuffs. So, slowing and mining fatigue, and it slows you right down. Oh, like it's really, really heavy, which it should. <laughs> but, the moment you put them into a bag of holding, like so, debuffs are gone, and you're back to normal. So, that's the che cheaty, kind of sneaky get around. <laughs> So you can make up a whole stack of these, bring all your chests, or, you know, if you're moving or whatever. They pick everything up, so including the bibliocraft, uh, bookshelves and stuff, which we'll get to, eventually. What I'm thinking is having, look, 
I'm even starting the creeper wall. <laughs> what I'm sort of thinking is having like like a grand stairway that kind of twists up along the side of the side of the house here up to the next level <sighs> or something. I don't know. It's just a big square with rounded corners. <laughs> but it'll become something and I'm really kind of liking it already. It's different. It's nice. It's working for me. Um, we're using the chest from Sam. It's got all, all of our good stuff, our ores and stuff in it. And eventually I bring it over here. Now you can hear the water because I covered up the little cave that was here. There's a little cave underneath. Which I'm actually going to utilize but in a different kind of way. Because eventually we want to get an Emmy system that comes through to here. Or even if it was Project Red or something that comes through to here. We want to be able to put the pipes or the cables or whatever underneath. So... That's kind of why I sort of kept a little cave system going underneath there. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that's the house. So that's... Oh, yeah, let's quickly sleep here. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> and it'll be daytime. <laughs> Alright, yeah, well, okay. So clearly we need to work on a roof. I mean, obviously. But I really like the space we've got. And it really is working for me. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown of what we're going to do out here. We're going to try and make everything inside the house. So that we're not really leaving. I mean, obviously, things like Britannia is going to have to be outside, and, you know, maybe we can make a space for our Thorncraft um, infusion spot, but it's so pretty. We've got a lot of sheep here, so we can get a, a wool um, farm happening and make a little chicken farm and stuff like that. I thought we'd put the... I had one thought that we put the nether portal over here, but I'm actually changing my mind because we have all these spaces over here. What was that? Something moved. I don't know what that was. Oh, we found a basil's here. So we... we <laughs> nothing flies, but we're slowly gathering up quite a collection of... Uh, oh, um, just a tip to all of my Baycraft friends. The um, ginormous uh, Kendrel Knight there was really, really hard to fight. Uh, so kill them straight away if you break a piece of dirt with your hand. Eh, eh. Because it was really, really hard to fight. It had like a lot of hit points and it was kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, yes, but nothing that could fly. Nothing yet. I thought maybe the basils could, but um, apparently not. Never mind. <laughs> so, and yes, my key binding keeps changing my map, but that's okay. I actually don't mind that. I will end up using that one here. So that's the quick way of doing it. So you get your favorites and you put it in there. But we still have to find a bat. <laughs> so I like this area. I mean, we have a nice big old redwood tree out the back here. And more... Uh, uh, what is that? Oh, I meant to blank. Dark wood. And that's hop seed. Hop, hop. Is that hop? Oh, psh, of course it doesn't tell me. A lot of gravel around here. It's great. Oh, don't fall. It is hop seed wood. But it's a pretty place. And I really, really, really like it. So, Yeah. I'm not really sure how to make the, the house fit. This is going to... Oh, gosh. See, I can never tell if I'm going to get one of the Kendall Knights or not. But um, maybe we'll bring the nether portal sort of around in one of these spaces around here um, that's away from the house because the sound really is quite frustrating. Hi, Mr. Sheep. The sound is really quite frustrating. Um, and we have these caves that I haven't dove down into yet. Dove? I haven't gone spelunking. <laughs> um, I did realize that there was another one on this side, which I didn't realize before when I was trying to kill the Kendall Knight. Um, so that'll be something that I'll have to do. <sighs> but I'm quite excited about our new space. And at the moment, we're just running backwards and forwards, getting everything over here, trying to come up with a plan for a roof. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Maybe I need to speak to the genius builders on the, on the <laughs> server with me and um, get some tips from them because... Go and check out their videos, guys, because, wow. I, and I, sw I need to make... <sighs> Excuse me while I... Oh, I ran out. Of course I did. I need to... I, th I swear the hunger runs out. We do have witchery, right? Witchery. Yes. So we need to make a popper shelf. And we need to get an arcade. We need to get all that going. <laughs> um, so. All right. Well, I'm going to finish moving everything over here, cleaning out the base. And... I will bring you back when that is done. So I'll be right back. Okay, pedals, we're done. Everything from over there, which is 
somewhere there, <laughs> which we need to change, is now in our square. <laughs> um, so we have three creeper heads. It's not enough. Um, I did notice that uh, we can put our map in here, and we're totally going to do that in an episode. We're going to make a traveling episode, and we're going to do that. Um, I would like to get a bat dead first. <laughs> But yeah, so we have everything here now. Um, a botania, a botania, botania is all in our purple pink chest. Um, I had to break all that down, but I've made a bit, a fair bit of mana steel out of what was in the mana pool, so that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. It's easy enough to get back up again. And I know it looks really bad and tacky, and it doesn't make me happy. And for some reason, my marble block <laughs> disappeared. I'm not sure why. Uh, oops. A bit of lag there, I don't know why. Uh, but we're going to have to find some more marble. Because this house needs a lot more marble. Quite clearly. Ooh, that's interesting. We can see through the world. I'm not trying to cheat, really. Oh, it's a chiseled one. Man. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, well, either way, I am completely and utterly out of marble. So we're going to have to go get some before we can do any more building. And we're out of dark oak, too. So we're just going to leave this as a nice short little update. And a thank you to you guys for... I don't know if I said this before. I'm recording this on two different days. But I wanted to thank you all for the amazing support for the Baycraft series. It has actually become... Oh, look at... Oh, 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 my armor. Oh, yes. Well, I have a shiny chest plate. And it makes me a little bit faster. At least I think that's what that means. I don't know. Minus 8% speed... Does that mean you go slower or faster? It's 8% and it really doesn't make that much difference. It just looks cool. So I went with it. <laughs> uh, but yes, as I was saying, I want to thank you all for the amazing support for the Baycraft series. It has become, in a very short time, my most successful series, the most watched and most views, apart from special videos, of all of my videos that I have. So thank you for all of your love. And, and all the lilacs and I'm really grateful for it so that's to you <laughs> thank you yay um, but yeah I'm going to leave it here I'm going to go and do a lot more mining and find some more marble and cut down some more trees and um, maybe in the next episode I'll be able to walk you through more of the house and actually have done some building on it I, I'm happy with it so far uh, if you have any suggestions or tips on, on the building or what you'd like me to, you know, build. Maybe maybe something we can build together. I don't know. <laughs> but please, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to see what you have to say. But, um, yes. <laughs> so, I know it's only short, but if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to plan a lilac on that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and become a petal to help our garden grow. Share it around with your friends. I'd love to have more of you. <laughs> um, <sighs> please check out the other members of the Baycraft server. All of their links, there's like 17 or 16 or 18 of us on the <laughs> are in the description. Go and check them out. There's a lot of amazing stuff that they're doing. We're very far behind, but you know, life being what it is, we do what we can when we can. <laughs> uh, so yeah, in the meantime... This is Silent Lilac, signing off. Bye. Bye.